get my trusty baseball bat. Smith Casey's Garage, that was the name of it. Ball Rat, do you like baseball? Boom! Bam! A bluey! You're dead. For another one. Stupid Mole Rat. Fly out of there. I think it's moving towards me. No, it's not. It's staying over there. You are smart, Mr. Bloatfly. Alright. And there should be like a rad roach and some mole rats in here. Greetings. I am going to beat you with a baseball bat. Goodbye. I really wait, I got I'm gonna do something funny. Hadoken! Well that went bad. All rats are still alive, but you know. Fuck it. I could have sworn there's like another mole rat up here. Wonder if I like blew it off into nothingness. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Go kill the mole rats. Cometh at me, bruh! Bam! Bam! Vault 112. Sounds lovely. But he's been here. Boop. Open the door. Damn, that's loud. Hurrah! Anybody home? I wanted to borrow the cup of sugar. Do you have any sugar? Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault Suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Oh boy! Please take a seat in the nearest available Tranquility Lounger. Thank you. Oh. I love how it has Tranquility Lounger in quotation marks. Well, this seems safe. Nothing bad could possibly happen here. Anybody else see like a little girl's face flash on screen? Oh boy, I got a trophy. Achievement. Holy crap, I'm short! Oh, it's sitting. Still short, though. Hello. 
Timmy! Hello, Timmy! Hey there, sport. Well, you... Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to Timmy. Hi, Timmy! <laughs> Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Um, okay. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. But he's my best friend. No, Timmy's the one who's crazy. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come tell me. Maybe we can talk some more then. But, but Timmy's my new friend. I'll make you cry, Betty. Bam! You can't do that here. And now you yes, have I to can. pay. Did it. Holy crap! I think Betty just went Super Saiyan and fucked my ass up. Okay, so I have to go make Timmy cry. Hi, Timmy! Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Um. Hey, I heard your parents are getting divorced You're because of you. You're a big dumb liar. Then I'm gonna punch you in the face, Timmy. Quit it. Oh, come back, Timmy. Get out of here! I'm gonna kick your ass. Don't you run away from me? Ran away from me. You sure showed him, didn't you? I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation, but it was definitely effective. Consider the game won. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question which I will answer to the best of my ability. Where's my daddy? Your father? Uh, he's a scientist and he's looking for Dr. Brown. Oh my, what a splendid turn of events. I had no idea the two of you were related. Yes, I have indeed seen him. I'm afraid he's rather unavailable at the moment. I want to see him hmm. now. No, no, I don't think so. We haven't yet plumbed the depths of your ability to amuse me. I think you'll do a few more things for me first. Um, Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Um. Excellent. Okay. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. Now the question is, where are they? Without killing either of, uh, that's what I'm good at. Uh, I don't kill. Uh, why are there so many waypoints? Oh. Good day. Be. Janet, yeah, you're rock. Well, okay, I'm gonna save because there might be like a speech thing. Well, hi there. Hi. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your. <laughs> what a horrible woman. thing to say! Damn Is it. that your idea of a joke? Yes. What? Ready, one, now that's a marriage. ridiculous thing to say. You kids need to find some different games to play. Um. Our marriage? Oh, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel I'm didn't very put you up to this, teenager. did she? What a silly thing to ask about. 
Okay. I have to go now. Bye. Good day. Hello there. I was thinking of having a cookout soon since the weather's been so wonderful. I wonder if any of these people ever try to like leave to go off somewhere and see if anything Hello. happens. Hello. Good day to leave. you. Hi. Now see here, what about your marriage? that's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Rude. Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? Betty wants me to break you guys Now that's up. not funny. Not one bit. It's true. He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. You won't find That's a day it, like this it? anywhere else. Except it'll probably be this way for like ever. None of this is sure, real! Sport, whatever you say. <laughs> Take care now. now. Bye! I don't know what to do. Basement. What bodies are you hiding down here? Okay, that's weird. My game just free. Okay, there it goes. Now! My game froze for a minute. Ooh, hello. Thought there was something useful. Hey, uh, you have nothing interesting to place on the desk at this time. Well, f you too, game. Good day. Hi, well, Janet! Hi there. Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. Uh, We're doing quite well. Years ago. Your dad? Yeah, dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I think you're full of crap, Janet. None of this is real! Oh, you're such a kidder. <laughs> Have... I have to go now. Bye. Oh, I love this. It's funny. Okay. This, this is... What the fuck? What kind of bedroom is this? It's just barren. There's no pillows. There's no blankets. There's just a book. It's a diary. just don't know what to do anymore when Roger's not in that stupid basement. He's outside... Sweet talking at hussy, Martha Simpson. Martha! Damn it, Martha! He claims there's nothing between all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once. Shh, not a woman's pendant! The most sexy and sensual part on <laughs> But of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet. I don't know why she said that. That's stupid. Uh, someday I wish I really had Peter. <laughs> Damn, Janet. <laughs> okay. All right. So I need to find Martha Simpson. I just want to scream, Martha. But Hello. I'm not. Are you? Hi, Good day Martha. To you. Hi. Can you tell me about the rock? Why are you marriage? asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? Because you're a hussy and a slut, apparently. People around okay, here should mind so. their own business. Rude. I Is don't think dad? so. But then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. Oh, you probably jump him in a, hat or a heartbeat. He looks kind of like me. It's a pretty convincing Sorry, kiddo, simulation. But I'm not in the mood for jokes. Uh, you look like a joke. I nice suppose. day, isn't it? I hadn't really noticed. What the fuck? <laughs> You're outside! How can you not notice? Martha! Have Good day. Well, shit. 
Hi, Mr. Jordan. Your son's a bitch. He ran away from me. Okay, bye. Okay. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Okay. Finally, someone who knows what's going on. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream a became a nightmare. Dream. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. What are you Carlson's talking about? He's Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still is. uses the fail safe terminal. I know it. What fail safe? What the hell are you talking it's in about? The abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Okay. I will do that immediately. It's definitely not that house, because there goes Martha. Frickin' ho. One of these houses is not like the others. Is it this one? Nope, this is the Dither's house. I'm gonna go to the door anyway. Yep, it's definitely the Dither's Good house. Day. What about this one? This is the abandoned house. It's special. Whoa, it's dark in here. Okay, I don't remember how I'm supposed to do this. Nope, not that one. Open radio? Damn it. Gnome! It's a gnome. Cola bottle? No. Block. Damn it. Air block. And bottle. Damn it. Ah. Gnome. Cinder block. Radio. Damn it. It's so confusing. I am easily confused. No! Bottle. Yay! I did it! I did it! I'm the best! Yay me! Okay. Chinese invasion program, go! Okay, fine. Go! I gained karma. Hi! 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 Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined Sorry, everything. Guys. Everything. I'm calling the shots now, you? Brad. No, I. I am the creator of this world. Feels so lost, so all alone. Wait. Tell me about the gag. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. 
Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Where is He's my been right father? here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. My father's okay. Can I get him? Yes, back? I'm sure he's fine. No doubt, when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. So I'm free to leave? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. So if you have no power over me... Does that mean I can punch you in the face now? I'm gonna test it. Falcom! Pounce! You can't do that here. And now I you have did. to did. You said you had no power! Bitch! I was lied to. I was told that he had no power here. Oh well. Bye! Son, you've saved me. I was afraid oh, I'd God, be trapped in there forever. Your face it's was. so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? I... What are you doing here? You could have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. You get the information I did you indeed. Then? Braun's work, the GEC, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure that components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the GEC, I can get her to see that it really will work. You need to go back to Rivet City. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You left me there without saying goodbye. What was I supposed to do? Screw the ball, I didn't need Is that, that, so? that one. You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want Actually, from life already? I suppose years, it doesn't matter now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. We'll just have to forge on ahead, won't we? Yeah, I guess. I'm not going with you. I have things to take care of. That's I'm my boy. Say. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Be careful. Okay, bye. Ooh, I leveled up. Okay. Um. Let's get some repair. You know what? Fuck repair. I nearly need to get more lock picking and science. Continue. And we're gonna go with Child at Heart. I'm gonna need that later on. Whoa! Holy shit, he's fast! I need to stop. Freedom! Wait, you know what? I can. I'm a. I don't even give a shit. Ah, fuck your cow! Well, bitch. Okay, I feel better. Get the hell out of there. 
this place. Casey's garage. Bullshit garage full of freaking barnyard animals and blown up cars and hey did I loot this? Yes I did. Did I loot this? No, I didn't. I was too busy trying to kill shit. Freedom! He's gonna go running off into the distance. Well, I get to fast travel because I have powers beyond your imagination. Talk to Madison Lee. Of course, it's locked. Well, I guess there's nothing to be helped now except for wait. About 11. No, I'll go at 12 hours. This will be just in case it doesn't open up at 8. I don't, I don't, don't remember if it does or not. 2, 1, and there we go. And yeah, it's open. All the way down at the back, and that's where the door to the lab should be. Don't touch the vegetables. They're... What can I do for you? So, oh, there he is. Go talk to Madison Lee so we can get started. I told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James. Hey there. You're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... So sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know, I was thinking about that. A lab at the facility What's the big idea? War computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, Yay! if anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? You found him? I can't believe it! You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. You seem very happy. Is there anything I should No, know? of course not. I'm simply glad <clears throat> that our work can continue. James is essential to the project, that's all, really. 
Um, I don't believe you, but okay. Do you think Project Purity will ever work again? I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. Farewell. I have to go now. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Well, Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? That's my All right, point. let's get going. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. But that will have to wait until tomorrow.